I find the term net neutrality very confusing. I find it almost useless. And I am very glad to hear that the FCC are taking on as policies for an open internet. I have a problem generally wherever people try to make public policy via some supposed architectural principle and people think of net neutrality sometimes as an architectural principle as they think of end-to-end -end as an architectural principle. We do far better when we try to explore beyond these terms and these jargon, if you like, towards what we are really trying to say here and what is it that we are actually trying to achieve via these terms. Now, when we talk about the architectural principle of the neutral network, I've got to say that I don't think it ever was neutral. If it was, it wasn't for very long. I'm certainly aware that in the era up to about 1992, and, and in an era um, prior to any real use of the World Wide Web, a number of US universities uh, were introducing traffic shaping code. And their traffic shaping code was all about um, needing to give priority to an application called Telnet. Telnet was about immediate, it was an ASCII sort of thing, but it was about immediate access to, it was almost databases on various computers, and people thought that ought to have more access than email, and it, it was true. It didn't really matter if your email took another three or five seconds to get to you, but it did matter if you had to wait that time to get to a site. So very early in the piece, people were thinking about traffic shaping. Um, another example of that, um, it's certainly my understanding that for a very long time in the design of IP version 6 there was going to be traffic shaping. Certainly as an ISP operating back in that period I was promised traffic shaping and I thought this is fantastic, it's going to be a good thing, it's going to come, but it got dropped, it never got through the IATF processes and um, as um, IPv6 was bundled out in about 1992 or whenever the exact year was, um, this was lost at this point of time, but certainly engineers right back were thinking about traffic shaping. Now let me be very clear, I like traffic shaping because I want to get to the sites and use the applications I want to quickly and I really don't care if my email's a little bit later because that doesn't matter. So some means of prioritising those applications that require some immediacy over those that don't to me makes an awful lot of sense. However, I don't like my experience of traffic shaping which I've had in Australia with one ISP. This particular ISP doesn't like users using an application called BitTorrent. Um, and anybody who uses BitTorrent not only finds that the BitTorrent bits are slowed down, but the whole account is. Now, there is no transparency about this policy. It's known to many users. It's proven that the company concerned has no requirement to be transparent about it um, uh, 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 and therefore just continues to do it because it considers it's good business. It equates BitTorrent with privacy, which is a... Um, crazy equation really, it's just not, it doesn't make any sense to do that whatsoever. So um, I do have a problem with non-transparent um, discriminatory traffic shaping that does that sort of thing.